G'day and welcome to the second leg of our Mackay Regional Tour. Today we're going to leave the hustle and bustle of Mackay behind us and go and find some raw beauty in North Queensland. And it's all thanks to our good mates at Caravan in Queensland. Now we've got a bit of spare room so why don't you jump in with us, do up your seatbelts and come along while we show you what's, what's up, up down, down under. under. It's time to see this land, this land of wonder. It's time to go and see what's up down under. This week we'll be picking up where we left off during last week's episode in the beautiful city of Mackay. From there we'll be heading westerly inland to the world-renowned Yungla National Park in search of the notoriously elusive platypus before heading up to the gorgeous beachside getaway of Bowen for a private tour of the town from some local expert guides where we are sure to discover some hidden treasures. Last week saw us arrive in the stunning coastal Queensland hub of Mackay. We conceded that we only had just scratched the surface of this lovely part of the world, so we just had to see more. During our time in Mackay, we've decided to call the Mackay Marine Tourist Park home. We caught up with park manager Tony to find out all about what his place had to offer. So we've just rocked up here at Big Four Mackay Marine Tourist Park and Tony's going to give us the good guff on everything we can find here, mate. What do you got in the park? We've got a lot of uh, features here that suits all sorts of people. The water park, big swimming pool, small swimming pool, slides. We've got uh, games rooms. We've got um, fishing down the back. Oh, fishing. But what about your facilities, though, Paul? Well, we've got um, basically the cabins, which is uh, pretty modern cabins. Um, there's quite a nice little walk around the park. We've got, uh, like I said, wildlife down the back. They can do a bit of sightseeing down there. It's very family friendly though, isn't it? You know, it really caters for everybody here. It, it does, yeah. Well, I reckon I've put together a bit of a plan while we've been having this chat. Tanya, if you want to duck off and see our mates down at Jago's to get some tips on how best we safely get ourselves up into Yungla, Tony and I better go and check out the fishing. Yeah, and uh, then I'm thinking I might even check out the sunbaking because that sounds like a spectator sport to me. <laughs> it is a good spectator sport, trust me. <laughs> right, mate, let's go and let's see if we can catch one of these fish. Right, see well, you soon, mate. No problems. A key attraction to staying at this park is that you don't have to go far when you want to catch a fish. You just simply turn around. Well, this spot down here where we are at the moment is a bit of a, uh, a feature spot for the park especially early in the morning and uh, in the, late in the afternoons. There's a lot of uh, barra. We've even seen a young fella catch a whiting here and tarpon. You don't have to be an expert angler or even have your own gear because Tony, the park manager, has got rods, bait and all the fishing gear you need. We have got uh, tackle and uh, fishing rods up in the office and we sell uh, small quantities of baits and lures. <laughs> So we get them down here and it uh, doesn't take them long to catch on. Yeah, I'm trying to pick up a barra here at Mackay. They tell me they're here. It's all about technique. I'm trying everything new. I'm trying everything old, but so far no luck. But I'm not going to give up. Fishing is not an exact science, so it was time to change tactics. So I've had about a dozen cars set in front of me, started off on one side, worked my way across, covered the ground, I've done different retrieves, I've tried everything, but now I've got a new lure on. I'm going for my secret weapon, the fluoro yellow, fluoro green, red headed, orange headed, big bibbed lure, and this thing has got to be the message for the fish. Just have a yarn with a few mates. I used to say that caravan park is the best equaliser out there. Yeah, you know where you're going to be tomorrow morning? Sitting one foot from me, doing the same thing we do every morning. <laughs> We're all equal here. We've got so many places down out our way within an hour's drive. We never go there. Yeah. And as you say, caravan is an equaliser, isn't it? Yeah. Really is, yeah. All right, backer. Better luck next time, mate. <laughs> well, we mightn't have caught anything, but Tanya Kernigan is definitely catching some good information about safely caravanning in Yungla National Park, mate. I've just dropped into J.K. Mackay to catch up with some of the fellas to have a chat about some tips on towing before we head up to the Yungla National Park tomorrow. So come on in. Ross, 
Macca and I are heading up to Yungla tomorrow. I've never been there before, but I want to get some tips so I can sort of, you know, share with him as we head up there when it comes to towing the camper trailer. Right out, Tanya, I'll put you in the box seat here so mm -hmm. you can tell Macca when he's towing the, the camper up the, up the range to look out for the grids. Some of them are horizontal compared to the rest of the range. They are slippery if they get a bit of moisture on them. And there's a couple of hairpins on the way up there as well. The second hairpin is really steep and sharp, so you'll need to use a fair bit of road on that one. Um, so just watch for the traffic coming the opposite way, and use will be fine. When you say use a fair bit of road, what, how should we position the vehicle? Yeah, you'd probably need to get the tow on the camper trail. You probably need to get the the driver's front wheel nearly on the white line to get the trailer to come around, mm -hmm. so you don't end up riding up on top of the the curb. Right. Um, and then once you get up to the top, there's a couple of pullover points up there too if you need to get let some slower traffic past. But otherwise, yep, you'll be on top of it. Have you got any advice for people who've never really towed before and they're uh, heading up that way? Yes, Tanya. We, you, you just got to drive to the conditions. Uh, if you're taking up a big van, you've just got to take, make sure you're in first gear pretty well all the way because it is a bit steep in, in, in places. But um, just be mindful of vehicles coming down the range and uh, you'll, be, you'll be fine if you, if you just drive to the conditions. So with the packing of the, the camper trailer, she travels pretty well, but is there a particular way I should hitch it up to, you know, to, to normally how we do it? So long as you've got your camper trailer sitting fairly level to your vehicle, um, it's, it's, it's not going to bottom out in the front, it's not going to bottom out in the, in the back end of it. So if you've got it nice and level, you should be pretty well right. I've heard it's pretty spectacular up there. It is beautiful up there. The, the view from up there is, you can see right through the Mackay Harbour on a nice clear day. Uh, but yeah, it is beautiful up there. Great, yeah. boss. Well, I can't wait to take the tips back to Macca and we're going to have the best time tomorrow. So thanks a million for all of your advice and your help. Not a problem at all, Tanya. Now that our mates at Jayco had supplied us with all the professional do's and don'ts of towing on the road to Yungla, we decided to snag a few coffees on the way up for some caravan vendors of a very different kind. Just over an hour's drive out of Mackay, Yungla National Park is Australia's longest stretch of subtropical rainforest. The region is famous for its platypus spotting, so we caught up with park ranger Todd Brown with the hopes he might help us find one. Hey Todd, are we going to see platypus today? Hopefully. Is hopefully. it platypusy or platypus eye? Or platypuses. 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 Yeah. There you go. Platypuses. Yeah. Platypus. No, it is. So this is what we refer to as a rock pool, a uh, new platypus viewing platform and boardwalk. Um, and a lot of people really enjoy this. It's, That's a beautiful spot. Yeah. yeah bottom and it's just an abundance of food for them. What, what they does, eat? Yeah, I was just going to ask <laughs> you, what does it, what they does eat insect larvae, <laughs> they eat little shrimps, they eat freshwater crayfish, little yabbies. Yeah. Um, yeah, and they eat for a long time. They eat for 12 hours a day. Do they? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. A bit like you, Macca. Yeah, a bit like me. <laughs> I'll stop for a drink every now and then. Yeah, so, yeah they're, they're a unique little creature. And, well, say I'm like again. <laughs> <laughs> they, nice they, little creature. <laughs> they, they are they are pretty interesting. I mean, they're, they're very unique, but their behaviours are pretty interesting as well. Obviously, a quite an intelligent animal. It can take yeah. a signal from another animal to get on with its work. It's got it's got a lot of um, it's got a lot of intelligent features. Like it's the way it closes its eyes and ears and everything underwater and just senses through its bill. Um, food and it's got electroreceptors in its bill, so a lot of things like that where it might sort of be prehistoric but it's still got all these very excellent technological things on its body. After a fair bit of time at the lookout point, we had seen plenty of turtles and bush turkeys, but the platypuses continued to elude us. As we soon found out, we hadn't come at the ideal time to catch a peek at the shy little buggers, so our chances were looking pretty slim to say the least. So we decided to just kick back and take our time with Ranger Todd as he told us all about the park while we soaked up its surrounding beauty. Just when we thought there was no chance of catching a glimpse of those platypus, Todd took us to one last spot along the river. And a little while later, we finally found what we've been looking for all day. And just like that, he was gone again. 
Hey, Todd, thanks so much for showing us where the platypus hang out, even though it was a little brief. Yeah, <laughs> it yeah. was still My great. My apologies on that. I, you don't need to apologise, but <laughs> because just coming up here and spending a few hours in, in your office has been an amazing way to spend some time, yeah, mate. I, so. I love it, and it's been good having you here. Yeah, it's a beautiful spot, so. I'm all for a coffee. Tell everyone you guys to come think? visit. I will tell everyone to come visit, but I like Tanya's idea as well. You want to fill up a coffee? Of course. Let's get course, out of the rain. Always. <laughs> to plan your next affordable Queensland holiday, Caravan in Queensland can help. To find out more about Caravan in Queensland's Community Welcomes Recreational Vehicles program, just log on to caravanqld.com.au. After the break, we hit the road again and check out beautiful Bowen. What's up down under? After a magnificent stay in Mackay, it was time for us to head to our next location. We braved a brief tropical downpour before safely arriving in Bowen at the beautiful Queen's Park Terrace Village, where we caught up with park manager Craig. If you turn up in Bowen, obviously mangoes are at the front of my mind, but I had to get to the park first. So the Queen's Beach Tourist Village is where we're staying. This is an amazing park. Green grass, lush. How long have you been here, Craig? Thanks, Macca. We've been here uh, 11 years in the park and um, we're loving it. We. Uh have a great team of people that do plenty of work around the places you can see and and uh, apart from today it's usually quite dry but um, we all need the rain and but tell us about your park what sort of facilities have you got here Craig well we've got um, 23 ensuite um, cabins self-contained uh, we're, we're a four-star radio park um, we've got 137 powered sites we're very popular with the um, southern tourists coming up and escaping the cold weather and that so can you show today. us around town a bit absolutely oh got a pleasure got a tour pleasure. you'll get us in everywhere that no one else can get in mate won't you uh, okay with the right right colored notes and that yeah <laughs> all right sounds good let's do it our personal guided tour of bowen is underway first stop craig brings us to it the big mango the tourist information center and we've done really well because joe from the tourist information center has agreed to accompany us on the rest of the tour to check out bowen hey but before we go can we grab some mango sorbet for the trip oh, sounds like a great good. idea great let's go ah. yeah we, we pull up at the tourist information center and we're eating mango sorbet there's not one extra bit in it it's just pureed mango yeah Oh, well, I love mango, but unless you eat it like this, it is the enemy of the bearded man. <laughs> I could live under a mango tree and be happy forever. What a great way to kick off our trip of Bowen, our tour around town. If this is only the start, mm. this is going to be a great town. Mm. From the Tourist Information Centre, we set off around town with our guides, Joe and Craig. Home to over 10,000 residents, Bowen is famous for its spectacular tropical beaches, which are a smash with visitors all year round. Considered to be the gateway to the Whit Sundays, Bowen is a perfect destination for those of you looking to kick back in style. Bowen made world headlines when it was chosen as one of the main filming locations for Baz Luhrmann's 2008 blockbuster Australia due to its historical likeness to 1940s Darwin. So far, Bowen seemed like an absolute gem of a destination and we couldn't wait to see more. After the break, we grab lunch with a view and explore the oldest town in North Queensland. What's up down under? Now we all know that life's luxuries never end at Nova Caravans and that is not going to change. But I'll tell you what can change, it's your luck. Because your friends at Nova have decided to give away a Bravo Caravan worth more than $59,000 and you my friend could be in the running to win it. Inside the Bravo you're going to discover a queen size bed, 22 inch TV, full en suite, the roof is one piece fiberglass construction and the floor is one piece as well. There's everything that you're going to need to get off the grid in style and enjoy yourself. For all you die-hard caravanners out there, you'll notice that the Nova Bravo looks the part with its two-tone cladding. But on top of that, you get a front boot and a tunnel boot and everything else that you could possibly want to be self-sufficient in your own little patch of paradise. 
So get online and enter at whatsupdownunder.com.au. Now you can only enter once a day, but you can enter every day. So get busy and get on it. After soaking up the main streets of Bowen, our private guides took us to a hidden, picturesque location to grab a bite to eat. We're sitting having lunch, looking at locations that are made by nature for movies. You know, there's just absolutely beautiful beaches, beautiful people, beautiful food. It just, the whole day just kept rolling and I could not stop saying, well at every moment you know there was just so much about this town. Bowen is, is a beautiful place and I think it's the people that make a place wherever you go um, but here they've got a double whammy which is the people and also the spectacular scenery that uh, that surrounds beautiful Bowen. Well that's lunch the fuel tank is full what are you going to show us next? Well Bowen is the oldest town in North Queensland so how about we head into town go to the museum and check out where it all began. Let's do it. We're down here at the Bowen Historical Society and Museum and it's just fantastic learning about the oldest town in North Queensland. Come and have a look around, there's gonna be heaps of goodies in here. Oh, the museum rocked, it was great. You know, I, um, I'd never been there before and uh, I think everybody should go to their local museum and just get a little taste of their history. The other thing I, I find cool about going to museums is that every different area has had a different history. It is such a broad history. And uh, the thing I loved about the, um, the museum at Bowen was that you could actually go up and, and touch a lot of the displays. Um, for example, the, the fold-away piano, it's only you know, a couple of foot long, but you could actually play it. And you know, it needed a bit of a tuning, but it, it was still a lot of fun. And there's not a lot of museums around Australia where you can actually get up close and really feel you know, the displays and, and, uh, and they made the writing really big so you could see it, you didn't need your glasses. <laughs> Coming up next, we say goodbye to Bowen in style. What's up down under? This episode has been made possible by our partners, Caravan in Queensland. For more information about planning your next affordable holiday, just log on to caravanqld.com.au. Win an Armour XD walk-up camper from Armadillo Campers valued up to $35,940. To enter, subscribe to the What's Up Down Under Travel Saver card for 12 months and receive one competition entry, plus our bi-monthly magazine and bonus DVDs. Thousands of discounts on holiday parks, tours, attractions. Subscribe for two years and receive two bonus entries. To find out more, just log on to whatsupdownunder.com.au forward slash armadillo. You'll find everything you need for a great Aussie holiday at the Queensland Caravan Camping and Touring Super Show at the Brisbane Showgrounds. From the 8th to the 13th of June, hundreds of exhibitors and brand name products all at one location. Find out more by logging on to caravanqld.com.au. If you're purchasing a new caravan, then look for the RV Map Manufacturer's Key and you could win a Mitzi Triton. It's that easy. The RV Map Manufacturer's Key is a symbol of the manufacturer's commitment to build and supply product to all relevant Australian design rules, regulations and Australian standards. See your nearest dealer and you could be a winner. For more information on the RV Map Manufacturer's Key and your chance to win a Mitzi Triton, just go to letsgocaravanandcamping.com.au and follow the prompts. That, that sometimes probably struggles to, to stand somewhere and put his hand on his hips and, and say, that's beautiful, you know, because I go, I go a lot of places and I see a lot of things. Flagstaff Hill was one of those places for me. Bowen is the most spectacular place and I can't believe I've not spent an, enough time here. It's so beautiful. Flagstaff Hill is sensational. And again, you know, a little, little hill tucked away that you would have probably just driven past, but we came into town 
and uh, our tour guides, Joe and, uh, and Craig, were fantastic. Well, it is a 360 view of, um, of absolute beauty. The, the great view of the township, the, the water is magnificent. I just wanted to get in and swim. You know, the, there were so many different views. You could, you could look out across the islands. I mean, you're looking at the Whit Sunday Islands. The, um, the clouds were hanging down over the top of the mountains on these, these islands. And, and again, I found myself sort of saying, you know, I'm looking at a movie set. It's like, this is, this is far too perfect to be natural. Always enjoy finishing the day with a beer, as you well know. And um, the Yacht Club at Bowen, full of characters. Oh, the Yacht Club is fantastic. And it, it's sort of taking a step back in time and uh, just the locals sitting around having a drink, a few yarns, um, good company, good conversation. So um, I'll put that on my list for next time I come through town and, and have a drink at the Yacht Club with the boys. I had the best day in Bowen yesterday. I've driven up and down the Queensland coast I don't know how many times. And every time until yesterday, just before I get to Bowen, there's a turn off. I indicate left and I keep heading north and I've never pulled in here. It is an amazing town. I really have done myself an injustice by not visiting Bowen earlier in my life. Well, that's the end of our show for this week, but it is not the end of our tour. Next week, join us as we continue our journey up through air and out to Charters Towers as the Mackay Regional Tour continues. And it's all thanks to our really good mates at Caravan in Queensland. So join us next week for more of What's, What's Up Down Under. Under. What's Up Down Under?